at the end of August a lecture uh, in the lecture series called Beyond Populism, a lecture series from the Finnish Cultural and Academic Institutes and his lecture, I might say, was a great success. And uh, from the natural romanticism, we started talking even more. And I might now reveal to you that there's also a totally new research coming out next year, maybe. And the research is about the impact mechanisms of comparison in architecture between the Japanese Sanso and the Finnish artists' houses and bills. So this is a kind of example about the, how the collaboration started from one seminar and how the new openings in that and also in this exhibition here today is something that has led to a new openings even in research that is combining the architecture in Japan and Finland and also the uh, artist colonies, artist villas and houses. Uh, at this stage, because I usually talk too much, so I would like to thank Associate Professor uh, Ms. Daishi Watanabe on behalf of the whole Finnish Institute in Japan for this wonderful exhibition that we have been fortunate enough to produce here. And also for the excellent collaboration that will truly continue after this when the research then stops. Many thanks also to Dashi Watanabe's excellent exhibition team, all here also taking photographs and so forth at this time. And of course, for the staff of the Finnish Institute in Japan, we have here our project manager, Mr. Basi Arvinen. Basi, say hi. And we have here our office manager, Mr. Rumi Okamoto, who you already met at the gate, Rumi. And also with us via Zoom, directly from Finland, from a very chilly Finland today, we have our trainees, uh, Jenna Tavasti and Sebastian Sandström. Um, about this exhibition, now there is a state of emergency still in Tokyo until the end of this month. So we want to take all the uh, safety measures here. That is why this exhibition will be video shooted today and it will be put to the Finnish Institute's website so that the whole world can see it really. And the timing is something that Tashi Watanete and, and I will discuss about still. So, without any further ado, I wish you all a splendid time today with this really thought-provoking exhibition. pleasure to introduce to you and to give the floor to Mr. Pekka Orpana, Ambassador of Finland. Ambassador Orpana, the floor is yours. It's really uh, a pleasure, it's great to be here uh, with you uh, in this opening of the wonderful exhibition uh, we, we see here and we have here. Uh, I didn't have a chance to, to go through the exhibition uh, uh, quite thoroughly and with all the uh, texts and uh, explanations and uh, it is really fascinating. fascinating. Uh, for my part, I would also like to uh, welcome you uh, to the, this exhibition, Unity Architecture in Finland and, and in Japan, created and based on the research of Associate Professor Taichi, Watanabe and, and produced by the Japan, by the Finnish Institute in Japan. Uh, we've been here 
more about the exhibition uh, soon, but I would like to uh, make just a few uh, a point to point a few to, to a few aspects. Finnish arch architecture and sustainability go hand in hand, as you can see in this exhibition and also in the in this major pavilion uh, where we are now, and which represents in a way uh, first of its kind combination of Finnish design, architecture and technology. It is a kind of hybrid platform combining sustainability, nature and technology and enabling uh, for us numerous company and, and cultural events such as this one. Uh, my hometown Helsinki is uh, focusing strongly on culture and sustainability, something that you can see in the section on Xoda architecture that presents the future plan of port of Helsinki, South Harbor, with examples of, of new architecture such as the future museum of architecture. I, I must say that uh, in, in, we, we have had a lot of discussions in Helsinki about the future design of that uh, area, which is really the heart of Finland. And, and I, I must say that this is a very thought-provoking, wonderful, uh, and, and gives a, a lot of uh, kind of ideas uh, what it could be. Uh, this exhibition reveals many excellent, excellent examples of uh, new thinking and innovations combined uh, with uh, kind of uh, uh, Finnish forests and, and, and Finnish forest industry uh, in many ways. Uh, and, and not to forget, uh, which is quite uh, interesting detail here, is the, the new way to introduce uh, Finnish saunas. And, 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 and during my time, I have clearly seen a, a, a sort of boom of, of interest to, to Finnish saunas here in Japan. Uh, very warm well, congratulations to. to, to uh, Taishi Watanabe and his team at the Finnish Institute in Japan and to the collaboration, cooperation uh, which will serve, with, of which uh, we will certainly hear more about in, in, the, in, the, near future, in the near future. Uh, kiitos, kiitos paljon, arigatou sanasta. Ambassador Orban for the very kind words. We have been thanking a lot of people, institutions and teams here, but I think that now it really is the, time, is the time to hear more about the actual exhibition. And of course, the one to tell us more about it would be Taishi Watanabe, the Associate Professor from the Barcelona University. Watanabe san, the floor is yours. Hello, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in Japan and then uh, good morning in HGK or Finland. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, want to tell the thanks of, uh, to uh, uh, Mr. Olupana, uh, the Finnish uh, ambassador to Japan, and uh, uh, Ms. Uh, Anna-Nagy, the uh, head of the Finnish Institute in Japan. We will have this very honorable exhibition. The, uh, the aim of this exhibition, the unique architecture, is to uh, combine three different exhibitions in different cities in Finland and Germany. And in addition to that, the first one here in Japan. 
uh, at some moment, uh, what I want to focus on is about the uh, thinking and the mechanisms of national romanticism uh, occurred from Finland. Maybe. At the moment, uh, I want to uh, emphasize the difference between nationalism and national romanticism. As my conclusion, the uh, basic attitudes that it is called as national romanticism uh, is a uh, some attitude uh, looks like a uh, 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 sensitive activities. Uh, in my uh, interpretation, uh, for example, uh, it's already past 20 years after the, uh, September 11th, but the, uh, we are still in the same post uh, type of the mechanism which is composed in 20th century maybe as based on uh, Resistance. So uh, that's why uh, we don't have uh, any goals uh, how to go beyond this kind of uh, mechanism uh, to compose what contributes to the society itself. And then I would like to find uh, some kind of a hint from the mechanism of the national democracy as a, a representative uh, activities. <laughs> so uh, actually, uh, uh, all of the uh, exhibits we uh, is uh, uh, some of the objects or the project, uh, architecture project or the financial project or some kind of things. But the common sense is uh, uh, to think about the design without architectural technologies or uh, designs. <laughs> this is a uh, one uh, concept that we call cross form And then uh, that we will need this possibility to make the uh, mechanism of the national romances, it can be adapted to the third price, even if we don't need the uh, historical context with the emotional one, not only emotional one, but also with a much more logical So this is uh, one kind of uh, my aim to have this kind of uh, exhibitions. And then uh, after today, <laughs> the unfortunately, uh, this exhibition has to be removed the resolution of COVID-19 in Japan. Uh, the, uh, on the other hand, uh, the some of the uh, audience, maybe almost approximately uh, 50 or 60 audience can join uh, this remote opening today from uh, Finland or any other country in the world. And then uh, I want to continue <laughs> that this region of the resolutions uh, from next month in Helsinki and then in Berlin and then Wyoming. And then uh, for my last part of my speaking, that uh, I'd like to uh, kindly introduce only the men uh, who uh, can uh, contribute for the exhibitions or the exhibit itself. Uh, Mr. Murata, Mr. Takashi Murata, and then Mr. Yuyo Sotama, Mr. Yui Kushimi, Mr. Junya Kawano, Mr. Uh, Atsushi Sakake, the Jinke Design Group, uh, Mr. Toru Kitazono, uh, Hakata Kiyon Yamakasa Promotion Association, uh, Mr. Shouzaburo Takaki, uh, Tokyo Watanabe Architects and Associates, uh, Catholic Hiroshima uh, Bishops Museum, Mr. Kotoku Mikato, Mr. Kenji Seo, Mr. Mikio Kuramishi, Mr. Akihiko Atarashi, Mr. Tadamine Maki, and Scandinavian Nippon Sasakawa Foundation. So, like the, the so many people who are the companies or associations have already collaborated with me, and then I hope this kind of very enriched uh, relationship will go on. And finally, <laughs> the, I also the kind of really introduced the uh, local moderator uh, who will collaborate with me for the exhibition in uh, each city. Uh, first in the, in the, for the uh, exhibition in Helsinki, I'd like to introduce Ms. Professor Penti Kaioya. Uh, Penti, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Ah, okay. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> Hello, greetings from Helsinki. It's early morning here. Sun is shining. Go 
congratulations. Oh, you think you were good? But maybe now we will try to show them more faith on the monitor. Sorry, there are some problems in, in connections. Ah, but, okay, uh, okay. But uh, it's okay that maybe in uh, a few or uh, only a few that I the which can be invited to the venue also can hear in your host area. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. And then uh, for the exhibition Thank in Berlin, I would like to uh, introduce Professor Ivo Wright. Professor Wright, can you hear me? Hello. Good evening. It's nice to be present, although online, in the opening of the exhibition. I know it was a lot of work and a lot of uh, preparation. And I have to say also maybe a lot of frustration due to the COVID that things did not went so well. But I think it's fantastic. And as just mentioned, I think this is a true um, architectural research work and therefore it's really fantastic to see the outcome of this research. Thank you very much and have a nice opening. Thank you for your joining, joining and then uh, uh, your message. The last thing that I'd like to introduce the, uh, for the exhibition in Weimar, the Miss, Miss uh, Verena von Becker.
大変に詳しくいたしますので、それに重複するようなことになりますので、それは省かせていただきまして、はい、あの、実はあの日本フィンランドデザインアソシエーションと言っておりますけれども、まあ、あデザイン協会でございますね、どういうわけか、えー、同時に、えー、2000年に作りましたと聞いてますね、フィンランドのアモですね、これはよく聞かなきゃいけないんですけれども。あのあの普通ですと、えー、フィンランド側は、えー、フィンランド日本デザイン協会とつけるのが普通だと思うんですけれども、向こうもですね、日本フィンランドデザイン協会とつけます、ね、で,ですから、今、複雑なんですけれどもあの、日本フィンランドデザイン協会スラッシュジャパン、スラッシュフィンランドということで、区別をいたしております。あのあのその時に、えー、実はあのあの2000あ1999年のクレームでございましたけれども、このフィンランドセンターのメンバーであった、えー、あのウィルソカマと、それから、えー、GK グループというデザイングループ、あとで紹介が出てまいりますけど、エグアン・ケンジが、あの私を呼びまして、えー、3人で国際委員会の会議で処理をしましたときに、これからフィンランドが日本と交流を深めたい。それで教会を作りたいとなんかそこのところに連絡をしたら全てが行くようにしたいとついてはお前はあの1958年からあのフィンランドと関係しております古い話でございますまだ自由化してないところも日本からの初めてとしてデンマークのクロスターカーデブの建築に派遣されてたことだと思うんですけど、まあ、そういうわけで心のことは詳しいからあのあのチームになるとこういうようなことで。フィンランドのは、えー、いろいろ人だなと、そして、うん、日本側は私と、そしてエグアン・ケンジというのが、両方のプレスデントの会長ということになりまして、ですから、ファウンダーとしては、エグアン・ケンジとソータマということで、出しております。はい、それで、えー、いろいろな活動をいたしましたけれども、おその中で、えー、特筆するのは、2000年。6年でございましたが、に、クワイエットネスト、静寂と、静けさのデザインという展覧会を日本でいたしまして、あのフィンランドの中で要請しましたので、日本もそれに参加して、静かなオゾンでいたしましたので、大変評判が良かったので、今度はそれをそのままフィンランドに持っていきまして、フィンランドのデザインビレッジでもある、フィスカルビレッジで、その、展覧会をするというようなことをいたしましたでそれ以後もいろいろな活動を繰り返しておりましたが、えー、映画の教授はそのでこの裁判でも、まあ、6年に亡くなって6年になんですがその2年ぐらい前から、えー、日本フィンランド全員協会を分かり合わせようということもありましてしかしこれからの時期は交流を倒しているモダンな日本のを発信するだけではなくて、日本の原点になっている京都的なものを発信していくことはできないかな、京都を拠点にできないかなということを私に何回か言っておりました。そのうちに僕は亡くなりましたんですけど、ね、その意思を作りまして、ね、今から4年前の人が京都に。日本フィンランドデザイン協会を移しました。ね、国会式は、三割級の大学で、大学でやるというようなもので。で、今でも、そこで活動していることを、ね、これからの場合はということで。ね、デザイン協会と言いながらも、ボーダーレスにもなってきているので。建築とデザインということだけではなくてです、ね。もう少し表現がいいと思って、この。コロナになる前からもですね、あのオフィランドである交通機関になんかのマウスの問題であるとかですね、フィンランドの教育であるとか、それからあの子どもに対する援助の仕方であるとか、そういうののセミナーも開くような活動をしておりまして、今後ともそれを2ヶ月に一遍のセミナーで、京都を中心に、まあ、しかし、問題も含めてということを出していこうと思っています。はい、そしてまたフィンランドと日本の教会と日本の教会の協力関係でいたしましたことでは
no? Eh, non per dire tanto, no? Fuori di uno, cadere, devo dire no, ti metto a sedere, sì. mi sento giusto, 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 mi sento である、えー、九州産業大学の小泉隆史君が大変な努力をしまして日本語で年表をパネルで大きなパネルで8万円ぐらいの110年ごとに刻んでるものを作りました外交関係から世界の関係からそして日本とフィンランドの文化の交流もフィンランドの後日本語の後、えー、それを、ね、そのお年表の苦労事業をオバマ大使にお渡ししましたところがこれ英語でできないかなとこう言っておられましたそうですがちょうど、ね、あの秋篠宮が100年のあれで記念でフィンランドに行かれました時にフィンランドの,あのデザイン協会がそのあれをあのフィンランド語にしましてそしてそれをあの展示をするという大変幸せなことをしましたえこれで今回我々はこれの活動をもっと続けていくことにして今回の本日のイベントもその年表に2021年9月というところに入れることを約束してえあのご紹介に変えたいと思いますありがとうございましたAmbassador Orpana,、uh, Director Filianen,、uh, Chairman of JFDA Japan, Makoto Shimazaki, thank you very much for your insight on JFDA Japan side. Also, I greet、uh, Vice Chairman of JFDA Japan, Sumiko Onodera, who I believe is present.、Um, hello, <laughs> Onodera san. Um, and on the Finnish side, after me, will speak a JFDA Finland, a newly board member but founder, Professor Sotama, esteemed guests、uh, at the Metsa Pavilion and everybody online. I'm very surprised and happy to see we have Germany here as well. And finally,、uh, Professor、uh, Taishi Watanabe. It is my great pleasure to participate in this opening. Of、uh, the exhibition called Unity Architecture in Finland and Japan. And I want to thank the generous support of the Finnish Institute in Japan uh, with uh, Anna Maria Viljelen's direction.、Uh, my name is Henrika Saarila, Henrika Saarila to most of us. I am current chair of about one year 
of uh, JFDA Finland. Now, when we say JFDA, that stands for Japan Finland Design Association. Uh, we have a nickname, we sometimes say JAFDA, <laughs> just to keep it short. And the history of these associations is uh, a little bit more than 20 years. Um, we will hear about the foundation uh, of them a bit um, later, but they are sister associations. So we have JAFDA Finland, and we have at the same time founded in 2000, so JAFDA Japan. And the Japanese name for everyone's reference is uh, Nihon Finlando Design Kyokai. Uh, the name um, has emphasizes the word D for design, but from the beginning on both sides, uh, architecture and architects as professionals have been involved um, in, in the, the statutes and, and the actual activities of these associations. So I would almost call it the, the design and architecture associations and sister associations. Um, I will the, basically the foundation of these associations were to advance cultural cooperation and research between the two countries, uh, widen the recognition of the practices and their effects at large, and assist in achieving associated cultural, social, and economic goals which ties a little bit to, to my professionalism. I am actually a, I work in on, on the business side of bringing Finnish design to Japan. The 20 years, coming up to the 20th anniversary um, of the associations, um, an initiative was brought to to us, which would be to just, we, we're looking for ways to celebrate 20, 20 years, and especially the 20 years sort of something going forward, and something that could increase dialogue and um, possibly not cost that much money. <laughs> and um, that, that initiative took the form and uh, of a, of a a prize or award or a way of recognizing the um, professionals that work in design and architecture in, in both countries. Now to tell a little bit more about that award is, is the next speaker. Um, but why I'm mentioning it here today is it, it actually has to do with, with something that will happen here today at the, uh, the, the, the event. Um, looking back at the 20 years, it's also coincides from my point of view with a, I would almost call it a still growing um, popularity of Finnish design and culture in Japan and then vice versa. Finland, where I am now in, in Helsinki, we actually see a sort of ever widening interest with, with people about everything in Japan, um, not only on the professional level, but on, a, on an everyday sort of popular level. Um, I, I, I think this is a, a forward ongoing trend. I first made uh, Watanabe Taishi's acquaintance um, online or his work and research his acquaintance about a year ago. And what struck me um, especially was the, the fast pace of his research. So I, I understand he was in um, Helsinki at Aalto University and traveled all around Finland at a very quick pace, um, gathering um, information and working in a very new collaborative way where most of his interviews with, with Finnish, his interviewees, his research subjects, um, quite a bit of his photography and his drawings were, were quite instantaneously published online, um, but partly on his own website. And I, I found this approach to be very fresh 
um, it, it sort of allowed to, to react or to read or to live together with him in his research. Um, the second uh, factor that I would commend uh, Mr. Watanabe of is, is his uh, very long arches looking back at history. I'm an art historian uh, from, uh, from Sophia University in Japan, um, but it is always a pleasure to see someone look not only a hundred years back, but a thousand years back or even further and take things and tie them together um, as, as uh, trends and, 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 and get research findings from uh, these, these sort of long arches and not only in the built environment, but also uh, from cultural, historicals, uh, identity, national identity uh, type issues. So um, I, have, I have found uh, the research very rewarding to follow. And I really wish I could be there with you to see this exhibition live. So without further ado, um, I think I would like to pass on to um, Professor Sotama. Maybe before I thank you so much, Enrique Sara. Thank you. Maybe I could uh, say a couple of words on the next speaker. Uh, Professor Emeritus Uri Sotama is not only the founder of the GFDA Associations, but as it happens, he's also one of the three founders of the Finnish Institute in Japan. So this is a kind of, well, uh, things, good things coming together again. So now, Professor Emeritus Yuri Sotama, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Well, and see you too. Excellent. Hi. So very nice to meet you. Now the Zoom is yours, Professor Sotama. Thank you. Like you said, I have uh, some very dear friends in, in, uh, in this uh, case in the Finnish Institute in Japan, which was founded on the end of 1990s and then Japan Finland Design Association. I'm honored to be with you, even if remotely. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, Professor Simachaki and, and Mrs. Onodera, uh, dear friends, the award was uh, the Japan Finland Design Award was founded for two reasons, to celebrate something and to make visible something. We wanted to celebrate the unique collaboration of lasting for 20 years of the Japan Finland Design Association, which was founded uh, uh, to enhance the relationship between our two countries. We both love design, crafts, architecture, and beauty. I think that's uh, the common nominator in, in our thinking. Beauty is something that is uh, utterly important in our lives. So we wanted to celebrate these things. But the other thing was that we wanted to make visible something. Visible the work of creative people in our societies, architects, designers, and uh, especially their forward-looking work. We didn't want to honor, we honor the past, but we didn't want to orientate the, the board towards the past rather than to the future. And uh, make visible the work of architects and designers in renewing our culture. And uh, this, uh, I think it's, it's very important idea that we look forward, especially on occasions like, like this when uh, the world has gone through 
a, a uh, rather difficult experience during the COVID crisis. But we have to look forward. And I, I think that's something important. Uh, the other, the second thing we wanted to make visible was the a dialogue between uh, countries. I have learned in my life that uh, culture never develops in isolation. It always develops in dialogue with others, with other individuals, with other cultures, with uh, other ideas. And we want to make visible the the work of GFDA in building a bridge between uh, our two uh, great countries and uh, the work it's doing in uh, developing or keeping up the dialogue, discussing, meeting with each other, uh, thinking philosophies, thinking practicalities and, and, and learning of each other's culture. And I think this uh, is important. The board is, uh, the practical side is that it will be awarded every year. Every second year, the Finnish organizations uh, are choosing a Japanese architect or designer who will uh, receive the award. And uh, every second year, the Japanese GFDA sister organization is doing the same and choosing a Finnish uh, architect or designer. So it's uh, our friends are looking to us and, and, and trying to identify individuals who, that, who have done remarkable work. There's always a jury that is established that will have members from Japan and Finland who will choose the, the recipient of the award. Uh, there is no money involved. And I think the best prizes, the most uh, uh, valued prizes in, in, in many areas are prizes which only include honor. Nobel prizes may be different, but uh, but this prize doesn't include money. It includes a opportunity to make one's work visible like uh, you see today in, in the Metsa Pavilion in, in Tokyo. Uh, that's the idea of the exhibition. Uh, I thank Zvilianen, uh, for the opportunity to host the exhibition and this event in the, in the premises of the Finnish embassy in, in Tokyo. It's, uh, I'm really happy to see you all and, and be happy to be with you in, in this occasion. Thank you, Arikato. Thank you so much, Professor Yuri Sotaman. Very nice to meet you finally. I've been here for three and a half years and I haven't met you yet, so this is also a very nice opportunity for that. Thank you. I think that now is the time to, for me to ask Associate Professor Tashi Watanabe to come forward. I'll be showing this for you first. And then I will be reading this out loud. It gives me now a very great pleasure to give you, to hand you over this award. It says here inside. 
German Finland Design Association, GFDA, um, has been awarded to Associate Professor Daish Watanabe as a recognition and encouragement of his outstanding creative work in renewing the culture of architecture. In Tokyo, Japan, uh, September 21st, uh, 2021, signed by Henry Casarela, GFDA Finland, or Chair, Yuri Sotama, Professor Emeritus Founder, GFDA Associations, and Makoto Shimasaki, Professor Emeritus, GFDA Japan, Board Chair. And of course, a small flower. Thank you so much, and of course, I would I would be very tempted to ask you how does it feel, but you can tell more about that yourself. Thank you very much. Actually, I'm not very very nervous at the beginning of the this event, so that's why uh, I forget. I, I already forget why. <laughs> explain the art. <laughs> and I would uh, like to thank you so much to all of the members of the JFDA in Finland and Japan Rose. And then uh, I want to uh, emphasize again the basic attitude of national dancing as uh, uh, receptive activities. That is uh, some kind of attitude to uh, involve <laughs> the outer pressure as uh, their own self-expressions. So uh, this is already the one kind of uh, uh, attitude as they are creators or uh, designers. So the, uh, I also uh, want to uh, promise to be one kind of uh, translator uh, through architectural design and design uh, for the future of both uh, Finland and Japan. <coughs> and then I think that this is already the last part of uh, this event. Itself. That's why uh, I'd like to also uh, want to uh, uh, introduce uh, several guests that I can allow to invite physically. <laughs> uh, because of the restriction, uh, I'm so sorry to make uh, this opening uh, with a hybrid way, remote and uh, physical. Uh, and uh, it's uh, sometimes a little misconnecting, I'm so sorry. But uh, uh, the, uh, I'm still allowed to invite a few uh, <laughs> guests to this venue physically, and then uh, there are also the four uh, my respectful professors here. So first, the, uh, my master, the professor Osamu Ishigama, <laughs> that he is an architect, and then the, my master, <laughs> professor. <laughs> Thank you for coming today. And then uh, uh, Professor uh, Takeshi Ito, uh, he is also my master and especially for my PhD to uh, research about uh, uh, structure of our uh, city and then its history. <laughs> and then uh, I also uh, invite uh, to more my respect uh, uh, Professor, uh, Professor uh, Norihito Nakatani and then Professor Koichi Kato. Uh, they are all my very respected professors in Japan. And then, uh, actually, the remote leader uh, from Finland, uh, there are also many professors and then the designers, architects. And then I also uh, quite uh, tell you my uh, appreciation to come to the, this opening, uh, even if it is a remote one. And then, uh, because of the restriction, and uh, what I can do, uh, is to uh, broadcast the, this whole contents of the exhibition itself. And then uh, maybe the, uh, tomorrow, uh, Ms. Anna Maria finishes in Japan, they uh, arrange to uh, uh, film creator <laughs> to shoot uh, all of the context, contents of the exhibition. And then uh, we will broadcast on my website or the website in, of uh, Finnish East in Japan. Uh, 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 
and very grand if you uh, also all of you uh, also uh, check that video. Thank you for coming today. Thank you so much. Okay, Taishi Wananabe, now you can relax. So you have given your speeches already. Excellent. Thank you so much for everyone for coming today. Now is the time for uh, networking, really. But before we do, I would like to ask Professor Shimasaki and Ambassador Morupan and Taishi Watanabe to a couple of pictures that we need for the Finnish Institute in Japan's website and social media on the national. But uh, one more thing still about the, this marvelous exhibition. It will be coming to our website and um, we have been talking about that, that uh, Associate Professor Vatanaka will be guiding uh, through the exhibition both in uh, English and in Japanese. So we will be of course sending all of you here today uh, the information where the video will be ready next week. And also for the rest of you uh, here with us via Zoom, don't worry, you will be also given the information, so stay tuned for the Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and the website on finstitute.gp. Thank you so much. So, time for uh, networking, but before that, uh, and uh, on behalf of everyone here, thank you so much for coming today. Arigatou